let's celebrate. Sometimes we go through life and we get discouraged and we always think of all the problems that we have in life, but today we can celebrate the fact that we can take a breath, the fact that the love of God is still here, the fact that, that the grace of God, the mercy of God is still upon us. Let's celebrate. Let's not focus solely on the issues that we have. And the issues are real and the troubles are real. Don't, don't get me wrong. But sometimes we gotta celebrate. We we gotta look beyond the situation. We gotta thank God for His grace, His mercy, His love, His care, His compassion. Let's celebrate. Ah. As we hear sirens in the background and people are hurt and there's hurt in this world and pain in this world, we gotta find the moments where we can stop and say, "Okay, God." Oh, Lord, thank you for allowing me to be here today. Thank you for allowing me to be okay. Lord, bless those people who may be hurt today, who may be sick today. Lord, I, I need to celebrate you. I need to celebrate your love, your grace, your compassion, your mercy. Oh, we need to celebrate at every chance we get. Because we don't know when that's going to be us in the background, hurt, car accident, whatever it may be. We don't know when our time on earth is done, so we got to party, man. We got to celebrate right now while we have an opportunity. Oh, and you can hear, you can feel the pain of others around us, of ourselves and the situations and the issues that we face in our lives. So when a moment arises, when a time occurs where we can say, thank you, Lord, for getting me through it. Let's party, let's celebrate, let's rock on. Let's say, God, thank you for your grace, your mercy, the snow, the sun, the wind, whatever it is. Thank you for being with us, dear God. Let's celebrate. Because the pain of life is real. The issues of life are real. And even if we are in the midst of something today, as we all are in some way, right? I mean, how many of us have nothing bad going on? There's always something, you know. We still need to refocus, think about something good, something hopeful. And that is Jesus. That is his love, his grace and compassion that does not abandon us, that does not leave us. That is there, that is constant, constant, constant. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to celebrate. Maybe it's just the fact that you got somewhere warm, that you got some food for your stomach, that you got YouTube or Facebook where you can listen to something encouraging. Maybe it's the fact that maybe literally all you have is God today. And you know what? That can be enough to celebrate, to say, all right, Lord, I give you all that I am. Thank you for continuing to love, care, and keep me. You see, ladies and gentlemen, we have to get our minds in the right place because we can focus, focus, focus on the rough stuff and not even appreciate the fact that God has given us a day, another day. So let me say a prayer for us. Dear Lord, we come before you. And no matter the circumstance, what we may be going through, we give you praise today. We thank you that you are with us, that you are our God, that you see our needs and you understand our, the things we need in our lives. So Lord, right now, we love you and we thank you for this day. But maybe someone watching this video, you never said yes to Jesus. You never invited him into your heart. Just say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Make my home in heaven. I give you my life. I need your assistance. I need your guidance. I need your peace. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I pray this blesses you. Share the message. Maybe somebody else needs it. You know, we have to be thankful. We have to appreciate. And you know what? We need to celebrate. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye.